Hello and welcome back to Tinker Talks Guns. Today we are here to talk about the Federal Premium Law Enforcement Tactical HST 147 grain. These are a uh, 147 grain jacket at hollow point. I've heard the opinion expressed that heavier bullets are better from shorter barrels, so I decided to put that to the test. Now, the test gun was the Latter-day Detonix with a 3 and 3 eighths inch barrel. Seems like a reasonably short barrel for the test. So let's go to uh, the tabletop and I can talk to about the round and show you the results. The 147 grain tactical HST comes in a 50 round box. Contrary to most defensive ammo, which comes in a 20 round box. And the price is fairly representative of modern high quality defensive hollow points. I paid $55.95 for a box of 50. Effectively, two and a half boxes of, uh, if we're talking about 20 round boxes of standard defensive ammo. So I suppose it's actually a pretty good deal. So the bullet is typical HST and is somewhat uninspiring looking. Um, the cavity is very simple, but apparently the lead is quite soft. Oops. Now, I don't know what the factory velocity for these is, but over a three shot spread, I achieved an average of 930 feet per second for a somewhat uninspiring 282 foot-pounds of energy. But when fired through four layers of denim into clear ballistics ballistics gel, the average penetration was 14 inches. And two of the three shots expanded very nicely, which I got to say, I was a little surprised by. And strangely, there's really very little denim debris in them. There is a bit, but not much. That seems to be buried pretty deep in the bullet. So, that's two of the three shots. Let's look at number three. Oh dear. There is virtually no expansion, and this bullet penetrated about 15 and a half inches. Um, I will also tell you that this was the slowest shot at 902 feet per second. So a sample size of three is very small. I would not necessarily count this as representative of the performance of these bullets, but it's something to think about. And these two, with an average of just, you know, a little over 25 feet per second faster, both expanded very well indeed. So I really don't know what happened here. But overall, I have to say I'm, I'm pretty impressed. And um, 930 feet per second from a three and a half inch barrel or a subsonic round is really not that bad. So, two out of three rounds expanded rather nicely, and um, I could measure the exact amount, but you can see it's, it's adequate, it's decent. Um, would I carry this ammunition? I wouldn't feel terribly bad about carrying this ammunition in this gun, because again, the small sample size, we don't know what happened with the third bullet, except that it was conspicuously slower than the other two. Uh, I will mention that there was an extreme spread between the three rounds of 52 feet per second, which is pretty much in line with what you expect from factory ammo these days, unless it's, you know, match ammo or some such. So, um, seems to be quality ammo. I think I'd be more comfortable with it out of a four inch or longer barrel, just because um, that one round gives me pause. But this is seems like pretty good defense ammo. Um, I just wouldn't use it in a micro night.
and that's just me. Your mileage may vary. So, if you like the video, please hit like. It only takes a second, and if you're still watching the video at this point, you probably like it, so hit that button. It helps YouTube realize I exist. And um, if you'd like to offer more support, if you enjoyed this video, um, there's a link to my Patreon in the description below. And if you kick a buck or two a month my way, it all helps more than you know. So, I hope this finds you well. Stay safe, take care, and we'll talk to you again real soon.